Hello everyone, I am Kali Selvi, Assistant Professor, CAC Department, RMD Engineering College. Now we are going to see two dimensional array in C language. A variable in a language is used to store a value in it. So based upon the data type of that variable, the storage value will differ. For example, if it is an integer variable, it can store only integer. If it is a double variable, it can store only double values. Suppose I want a single variable to store a collection of similar values. I mean similar data type values. In that case, we go for an array. So array, have, array is a collection of similar data type values. You have uh, different types of arrays, single dimensional array, two dimensional array, multiple dimensional array. Single dimensional array means you will be going to store the value int a of 20. That means the a where array can be able to store up to 20 value, 20 integer values. This is an example that is one type of values will be stored in a row. We can say it either it uh, stored in a row. Uh, starting from the index value 0 to n minus 1. So, this is an example of a single dimensional array. Now, we are going to see two dimensional array. So, the syntax of a two dimensional array will be data type, array name, m, n. m must represent the number of rows and n represents the number of columns. So, a two dimensional array is a replica of a matrix. Now we are going to see an example of a summation of two matrices for an uh, two-dimensional array. Starting with the variable declaration part, float A and B both are two-dimensional arrays and result also a two-dimensional array. That is, your input will be two matrices in A and B and the result will be stored in I mean a summation of two matrices value will get stored in the result variable. First we are going to take the input. For getting the input for the first matrix that is A matrix if it is based upon the number of sub uh, array it if it is a two dimensional array, you will be having two for loop. If it is a three dimensional array, you have three for loops. If a single dimensional array, you have be one for loop. For int i equal to zero, i less than two. For int i equal to zero, i less than two, i plus uh, plus plus i. So initially i value will be 0. Initially i value is 0 and uh, within the i value as 0, we go into the j values also 0. j value also 0 and we are giving the initial values a of 0, 0. So initially we are giving the values for a of 0, 0. Next, the loop will be incremented. Now, next time, we'll give the value of a of 0, a of 1, a of 0 and 1. And next, we're going to initiate the j value to 2. In that case, it will come out of the j for loop and it go to the i for loop. a of i equal to 0 and j equal i equal to 
j equal to 0, i will be incremented to 1. So now we give the value for 1 and 0. And again, we get the value for 1 and 1. Similarly, we will do for the second for loop, second uh, variable i equal to 0. Initially, i equal to 0, it goes into the j for loop, j equal to 0. So, initially, we get the 0 plus 1, that is b of 1, 1 value will get, uh, uh, get from the user. And then we'll be again incrementing the j value. Now j equal to 1. 1 is less than 2. It will get the value of b of 1, 2. And again it will go. j will be incremented. j now will be 2. So it will come out of the for loop. But still i is equal to 0 is that. Now it will increment the i value. i will be 1. So, i1, j equal, again it enter into the j, j loop, j for loop, j equal to 0. So, it will get the input from the user and again it will increment the j value. i will be 1, j will be incremented to 1. Again, it will get the value repeatedly. So, totally we will get in 4 values. Now, what you will be doing here is you are going to do the addition. Addition of two arrays, the array value will be stored in A and B. So, the corresponding, first we will be giving the corresponding uh, based upon the position. Uh, I equal to 0, J and J equal to 0. So, the value stored in A of 0 and A of, uh, A of 0, 0 and B of 0, 0 will get added. So, the basic principle for matrix addition is the same position should get added. So, likewise, it will be added. Now, we can see this example running. Now, I will copy this program and run in an online compiler so that it will be easy to understand while running. The input here I have pasted, I mean the sample input output which is I have already run the program. Now again I am doing it. Now we will entering the value. So I'm going to enter 12, 13, so 3. Okay. Wait, I will run once again. Program get stuck.
eleven, twelve, twenty one, twenty two. So first, I have given the values for the wave variable. So for understanding persons, I am giving the position value as the input value. You can give you can give any any values. Eleven, twelve, twenty one, twenty two. So the addition of these two because we are giving as a floating numbers. It, uh, the result we are uh, after addition we are getting with the uh, decimal points. Uh, so eleven plus eleven twenty two. 12 plus 12, 24, 21 plus 21, 42, 22 plus 22, 44. So again, we can run this program by giving any, any decimal values of 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6. If you want to give and you can give negative value 0 0.4 minus 0 0.4 minus 0 0.123. Now here minus zero point zero zero six zero point one two zero point three four minus zero point zero zero one. So zero zero point two minus Zero point even it is an addition. I'm giving minus, so it will minus the values. So here we are giving the precisions only for a single digit will get printed for a float. If you are giving it as a double, it will print more values, more than one position. If you if you want, you can give it a double. Here they're giving the precision value as point one. So if I'm going to give us three, it will get, the program will run in a different manner. So zero point zero 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 six minus zero point two 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 zero point four four one point two two point two three point five minus zero point four four four. Minus zero point twenty three. So I will get the output in three precisions. Thank you.